What's good? It's your boy, Mr. Wonka7. I have not gotten any sleep between this recording session and last one. It's still the same day, it's just instead of it being 3 a.m., it's 2 p.m. I didn't get a wink of sleep. I'm going to extend it until I fall asleep at maybe 2, well, not 2, but 3 or 4. Realistically, it will probably be 5. Because I'm going to record this probably for an hour. And then I'm going to get some. get a shower or something. Get a shower. Take a shower. And I'm starting to speak like my dad, who doesn't have English as his first language. Ambushed. <laughs> I'm out. Wait, is this crashing? The hell was that? That shit got me shook for a second. I was thinking, no way is this happening to me. See, like, say what you want about, like, SNES 9X. It's a really good emulator, but... Felt the need of open emu. But I didn't have to deal with this shit with SNES 9X. Open emu, like... It has its own complications. Whatever. Anyway, our goal is to solve the puzzle that's stopping us from continuing on with the Earth Cave, or whatever it's called. The dungeons for the main game are just really shitty when it comes to their names, like Hellfire Chasm and Lifespring Grotto. Those are clearly post-game dungeon names. Shit here like Mount Gulag and whatever. That's that main game shit. Although I will admit that the Chaos Shrine is an awesome name. See this giant? He blocks the door. He's kind of like the Snorlax of Final Fantasy. Give him a nice ruby and he'll eat it. And he'll get out of your way. And your main protagonist shows personality. Albeit not much of it, but still. Every little bit counts for me. So Dark Kefka dropped a video on the side probably to pay rent, but nah, I just want him to drop more videos. Great X, more money, more problems. It's true, boom. Less money brings problems too. Okay. Literally nothing else is available. Like, one hundred accuracy is still good, so take the X. We're gonna need it anyway. Oh, I love the sound effect for this axe. Sounds so good. Yeah.
burn everything in sight. Again, I was about to do a double Skype call too, but I just did one and then told the other dude I'm recording. No random battles here. Okay. And we got the Earth Rod, which is going to uninhibit our progress. I just love that word, inhibit. I mean, it's not that big of a word, and it's not really $5 or $10. But it's just used so much in jargon and that, like, sci-fi bullshit. Damn, this shit is hard. Not. I didn't mean to go with 90s sarcasm, but. No, she just. I gotta pull out my hat full of tricks. Since. I'm not feeling as good as I did before. I'm a little sleepier now. These are some damn six hits. With these mechanics, you don't really need that much attack power if you can get more hits in. The multipliers really do matter. That's like an old school mechanic. Yo, stop. Shit. Vivi's paralyzed, it's over for me. Oh, actually, no. These are some annoying ass enemies. Thresh him. Just thresh the living hell out of him. So we gotta go through this swastika area. Oh, this is gonna be fun. The thing about this OST reminds me of the soundtrack to Akita. Uh, Game Boy Advance is just so damn good as a console and as a handheld. Something about it just couldn't compare to anything else. It wasn't a league of its own. I mean, DS is a little more, was way more profitable. But DS was a little more hype than anything else.
This is the console. When a next generation handheld came to DS, I was just like, nah, just keep this shit. This shit was, like, really good. Come on, use your fire spell already. Preemptive strike. Man, we just made a joke out of this dungeon. The boss might be difficult, though. I never tried the boss in a very long time. This is the longest I've ever gone through this game in nine years. She shit whack, man. At least my moolah's going up. Wow. I got like how much? I thought I was about to say half a mil. It's more like half 100,000. That's not too bad. Yo, Butts is really doing well as a tank. I just realized Vivi has white hands like in Final Fantasy 9 Vivi had black gloves but again this isn't Vivi I just named him that way in my heart he's Vivi And this black mage is a human, I believe. Dang. Got a couple of destroyer of worlds in here. Butts is definitely one of them. Imagine. Actually, we have a couple of eaters. I didn't even know about that. And the Phoenix Sound. So we got stuff without having to shop. Let's put that Earth Rod to good use.
Come on. Yeah. <sighs> oh, now I'm angry. <laughs> that reminds me. <laughs> when I pull up to the hood and, like, people see me for the first time, like, Hey, David. Then they get annoyed when you see my face, like, Why are you angry? Because I'm in the hood, motherfucker. That's why I'm angry. Nobody loved nobody in here. Come on, set fire to everything. Yo, these enemies that can paralyze you are really getting on my nerves this episode. Ordinarily, they're not too bad. In fact, they're kind of on the pushover side of the spectrum. I wonder how much MP this wastes. 20, but fuck it. Well, this area has a whole lot of nothing. Good. He went after butts. He did the stupidest thing imaginable. He could have gone after Vivi and really messed my stuff up. They really ruined the whole game. An ogre mage. Wow. Ordinarily, I hate the color blue, but I think I might have gone through a milestone in my life where I really love the color blue now. I mean, just look at that. That looks really appealing to my eyes because blue is just this color that's not really ever present in nature. I mean, yeah, there's the sky, but if you never, like, associated with blue, you would just see it as white. In fact, a lot of times the sky is white when it's a cloudy-ass day or a foggy day with a lot of water vapor going on. Equipment, iron shield, mithril shield. It's really surprising how mithril makes everything better except for the things that would make sense. All right, butts, come on. Yeah. So there's that. Come on. So now they're going to level up unequally. Let me check my saves. Cures poison, revise one. 
It's exactly as many as we needed. But again, we're gonna start leveling up in different rates now. Fuck. I want to see if there's more treasure chests. I don't care. At least it means that there's like a pincer system now. So the thief and the black mage will level up first and the freaking warrior and the red mage will level up second. And now you know why H.C. Bailey hates the cockatrices. I hate them too now so... When I said, fuck you think this is H.C. Bailey, you were probably right if you were on the literal end of that rhetorical line of reasoning. Oh, well, I just, I guess I'm just going to have to level everyone to 99 or some shit. Or level it up to the point where it won't really matter. Okay. I'm already a quarter way there. I may need to prioritize strength over anything else. Oh good, the shield. Again, a quarter way from 99. I'm going to just level up that way. I probably won't do that, but if I won't, it's because I really don't care that much. Someone described Final Fantasy as the original game, this one, as a JRPG in reverse. Instead of going place to place to get the MacGuffin, assembling a team, well, assembling a team, getting the MacGuffins, and stuff like that, this game actually kind of takes place in the middle of the story if you think about it. I mean, they're fully assembled. They have all the crystals with them. They just need to power the crystals up. And when you think about it, 
a remake of this game with a fully thought out storyline would be pretty weird. But then again, they kind of need to do that with Final Fantasy VII. Just tell the, the full story since that game also takes place in the middle too. Although, it's not as deep of a middle as this one. Did I go through the wrong B5? No, I didn't actually. Well, that's good. Again, a little personality, that's cool. Even though it's only told with exclamation points and shit. The first real boss of this game. And the first time you hear this boss theme, actually. Well, if you could actually hear it from my end. When's the last time I saved? It better have been early on. If only I could taper this and, and turn it into an AOE heal, but not for this game or seven. All right, I gotta do the best I can with Vivi. Good. Now I just got to... Oh, I healed the wrong guy. Somehow I won that. Somehow I won that shit. Again, showing more personality than before. And that's the optional dungeon which we can go to. But we shouldn't go there just yet because we'll get creamed. Trust me, that dungeon will wreck you. Okay, 
Okay, so they go in later. La botches in that boss battle. Yet somehow it all worked in the end. As a side note. Notice how the crystals look. Yep, one of them is glowing. It has, in fact, been powered up. That about does it for one episode. I'm just going to hurry my ass back to the end. Maybe get a level up or two. Uh, like level up all my party members by into this shit. With the encounter rate it is possible. <laughs> but that's a testament to how difficult these boss fights can actually get. Like, you'd be surprised to find out that this game is actually challenging. Even in... With the way I'm playing it now. Status... Nah, everyone just gained a couple of hundreds, 200 EXP, that's it. Well, next time, I'm going to do the same, but with the fire dungeon. Until then.